So you want to stack this stuff. And you're buying right now. I have an urgent message for you. Buyer beware. International Stacker. Hey guys, International Stacker here. Thank you for watching the channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe because a lot of you aren't. Help me beat the YouTube algorithm. And uh, please note, I'm not a financial advisor. My disclaimer is in the description below. Um, but I have a message for people. And, you know, I've been seeing a lot of comments lately in my videos. Um, I don't care what the price is now. Silver's going to 50 or 100. And uh, I'm buying now at whatever price I can. And I'm going to give you a message of why that might be dangerous. And this is specifically for a lot of the new stackers who are getting in, in, into this uh, hobby, investment, uh, long-term protection, however you look at it. Now, do I personally think that silver is going to break $50? Yes, and I think it will do this year. Can it break $100? I also believe that. However, I could be wrong, and a lot of the people you watch on the internet could be wrong. When I stack, I like to protect myself as much as possible, um, which means limiting my risk. And hey, look at my job, emergency management, all about limiting risk, okay? So what do I really mean by this? When I see those comments of I'm getting out whatever price I can uh, because it's going to break 100, that is a dangerous mentality. You should always be looking for the deals and looking for ways to lower what's called your dollar cost average. Now, normally, dollar cost averaging um, is what the method I follow, and a lot of people follow to keep your overall cost as low as possible, which means you continually buy. So you have a set amount that you buy, maybe monthly, weekly, quarterly, however you do it, and over the long term, it will average out and help lower your cost. You're going to buy sometimes in the highs, you're going to buy in lows, and overall, it will average out. The only reason that change, the only way I go against that is if I see short-term pullbacks, buying opportunities, then maybe I'll spend more in that dip um, to help lower that dollar cost average. So that's my normal strategy, and that's a time-tested strategy. Many use in precious metals, many use in the stock market, many use uh, for lots of different things. However, we are in some of the most craziest times of our lives. We're gonna have a contested election, I guarantee it. We've had the beer flu, that's the code word because for the pandemic, because YouTube still likes to, they still suppress videos. They don't, they say they don't, but they're still doing it. Um, uh, record spending stimulus, people out of jobs. We're seeing all kinds of business declaring bankruptcy and shutting down. Ladies and gentlemen, we're definitely in difficult times. However, buying in to a parabolic move when everyone's saying it's going to shoot 100 can be a dangerous thing and it can expose you to risk. Now, are you going to be safe doing it and make a bunch of money? Possibly, but what happens if you're wrong? So my strategy is to keep it as low as possible. This really reminds me of 2011 um, when people were buying silver at 40, 50 bucks an ounce. And remember, the premiums are always higher than the spot price. So people were buying 40, 50 an ounce when spot back then was probably in its 30s and 40s, okay? Um, those people who bought on those highs, either they sold it and took a loss or they're still having to hold nine years later um, to, break, to break through that point. And I think as we get closer to $50, you're going to see a whole lot of people getting out of silver because they're disenfranchised uh, when they went through that experience and they just want out and want their fiat currency back. I shouldn't even say money. They're, they want their paper currency to be back because for something to be money, it actually has to retain um, buying power. And our paper currency, you lose 2% buying power minimum every year to inflation. IS, what are you doing? I am certainly a buyer um, of silver, but I'm currently waiting for a pullback. Now, it is definitely easier for me to wait for a pullback because I have a stack of somewhere around 6,000 ounces, okay? So it's easier for me to pick and choose. If I was a brand new stacker or had barely any silver and I wanted to get exposed to the market, I totally get buying in right now, I'm jumping in with both feet. But what goes up? parabolically always comes down in correction. Do I think the price of gold and silver is gonna crash? No, that's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is I'm expecting a short-term pullback. 
I put several videos out of, on this and I think it's gonna coincide with um, the stimulus. And a lot of people say, well, stimulus should drive the price higher. Uh, event, yeah, eventually, but I think in the short term, people are gonna relax, not be as panicked, people have money again. Most, I think most people getting these stimulus checks are not buying gold and silver, folks. This is still a small niche or niche, however you say it, market that we're all in, in terms of gold and silver. So I don't think a lot of those people are, are going to be buying into gold and silver. And I think that's going to present a short-term buying opportunity. Could I be wrong? 100%. Have I been wrong in the past? Never. I'm always right. No, I've been wrong. Um, but this is my methodology and what I'm going for because I want to get as much of this as possible. And like many of you, I also have a limited budget, although it might seem it's crazy, but I do have a limited budget. So I want to make it go as far as possible. And my dollar cost average is in the 18s, and I, I want to keep it under 20, guys. I don't want to buy in at 27, 28 and drive that dollar cost average up. One thing I'll tell you, too, is what we're seeing is what's called a sh uh, in the market. And some of the craziness is by what's called a short squeeze, right? So in the paper market, you can either go long meaning you think it's gonna go up, or you can go short, which is betting against the market. I mean, casinos on craps, you have a short, which is the don't pass line, versus the pass line, which is long. Hashtag, I love playing craps. Um, but I don't like gambling and losing money. <laughs> um, so anyways, people bet against silver. What happens is if silver runs up, it will trigger these shorts, and people will have to sell or take what's called a stop loss, um, because they're going to owe money on however much that gap ends up being. So a lot of them will take shorts uh, very quickly, automatically, depending what level trader you're on, even the trading platform will force you. They'll sell your position out and force you to, and to cover that short. And when you cover that short, that generates buying in the, in the, in the long position. So what happens is if you hit areas of, say, psychological um, significance, like $30 or $35, people have probably shorted, um, it triggers those automatically, and that drives the price up even more. So that could be part of the parabolic issues we're seeing. I'm not a super experienced stockbroker, trader, anything like that. These are just things I've learned along the way. So what I can tell you is... Nothing goes parabolic, meaning straight up like we've seen with gold and silver, silver and does not have a correction. I believe when the correction comes, we will have higher highs. Well, first higher lows and then higher highs. Um, originally, I was looking for a pullback anywhere in the teens. I, I still want it to be in the teens, but I, we might be lucky if that happens. But if silver drops below 20, I am a buyer. Um, I'm going to buy as much as I can. But ah, yes, the premiums are crazy. You're going at mix, Eagles are going for like 40 bucks, 100%. You're not going to find deals on this type of a play on your major online bullion sites unless you get lucky. You're going to find it by doing private buys. And I recently put out a video on how to get silver and gold at, near, and sometimes below spot price in a safe fashion. But make sure you follow the safety and security issues I put on there. Make sure you watch that whole video to protect yourself. Um, but that's where I get a lot of my great deals. And during this whole pandemic, when premiums have been crazy, besides maybe one or two LCS videos we made, I bought all my silver on private buys and I controlled those crazy, crazy, crazy premiums. So what I'll probably do is uh, hopefully I remember to put a link to that video in the description below. If not, leave a comment and ask me and I'll be happy to copy and paste it for you there. New stackers, getting into the game. I understand getting exposure, but beware. Spending all the money you can thinking gold and silver, or thinking silver is going to be to 50 or 100 in the next few months, and thinking gold guaranteed is going to be to 3,000 is a dangerous mentality. We all could be wrong, so it's important to protect yourself, meaning keeping your dollar cost average as low as possible. One of my things I learned if you watch my top five mistakes video is always follow the deals. And you'll notice how I'm stacking and the types of metal I'm buying uh, and, and the types of silver I'm buying changes because that's changing with the deals. 
This is my last week in Maryland, guys. I've had a great time here, and I recently discovered the real gold of Maryland, the Old Bay Hot Sauce. So I've got a couple of these puppies. I'm gonna put those in my suitcase, and ladies and gentlemen, soon I will be near my stack, which means the Mega Gaw is coming. If you have never been part of a Mega Gaw, you're in for a ride. The last time I gave away a kilo of silver just to the first place. And I think we had five top prizes. One kilo of silver to the first prize. And that kilo went worth, and I bought it in Dubai by the way, and that kilo went from being worth like five, 600 bucks to now nearly a thousand. So that winner is happy. Anyways guys, subscribe, hit the notification bell because the mega guy is coming. And if you want the mega to be mega, or I need you to flood my videos and chant. Mega, 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 mega. Catch you on the next one. One stacker on a journey to find silver. International stack.